Erling, congratulations. Uh, you've won the Footballer of the Year Award. I, I don't know if you've seen the main room, but there's 75 years of history there. Some of the greatest players who've played in this country. How do you feel? Well, of course, I feel good. Uh, special moment, of course, uh, when I knew it uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and yeah, to be here today is a, it's a nice thing and I look forward to, to the night. Only one or two players before have won it in their first season here. Has this season gone, has it exceeded your expectations? No, I didn't expect to be, to be that good, but I expected to be good, of course, uh, to come in a team, uh, to a team that's been scoring many goals, winning, winning the Premier League a lot of times, and two years in a row, now three. Uh, so uh, I expected to do good things, uh, but to do this I didn't quite expect uh, and uh, yeah, it's been a fantastic season so far and, uh, and yeah, I'm happy. Obviously you were born over here in Yorkshire, how do you feel you settled in in Manchester? No, good, uh, I like it, uh, I'm enjoying on and off the pitch and uh, yeah, I'm enjoying my life. Now the Premier League title's in the bag, we know that got the FA Cup final coming up and then the Champions League final coming up after that. A, a historic treble is, is possible. Have the players started to talk about it yet? Of course, everyone knows, uh, everyone knew it even a couple of months ago that it was possible. Uh, and everyone knows now that it's possible and uh, I will do everything I can to, to make it uh, possible. That uh, would be a big dream. Uh, and. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's two finals left, so we'll see in the end. And of course the only other team to do that is from the other side of Manchester, the red side, and they've got you in the cup final next week. Could that be an extra incentive for them? Is that, is that something? Or even could it be a, an added um, bonus for you if you beat them on, on route to that treble? It's gonna be, they're going to be uh, want to do everything they can to, to not make us uh, win this final, of course. Uh, it's a final, it's living its own... Uh, it's in his own thing, uh, and uh, we have to play at our best to, to have a chance there. Mm. I mean, that semi-final of the Champions League against uh, Real Madrid, I think particularly the first half, people were talking about it. Some of us who were there were lucky enough to see it as almost perfection on a football pitch. Does that give you that sort of sense of um, invincibility when you go out, when you, when you can play like that? Uh, good question. I the first half is uh, when I saw it again. It's one of the few games I've been watching again, and I think it's the best first half I've ever seen uh, ever in my life uh, of um, of a football team. Uh, and uh, no, you don't feel like this, but uh, you have the confidence when if we are struggling a bit, I look around myself and I see all the good players, uh, all my teammates, uh, and then. You just get the confidence directly back uh, and uh, yeah, I mean it's two finals left and uh, we still have to stay focused either though we, we won the, the Premier League but we still have to, to stay focused to, to achieve uh, in the, uh, what we can achieve in the next two finals. Mm. I mean you'll go into that final as hot favourites against Inter but does that make it a little bit more dangerous from, from their point of view that they'll be underdogs and you probably have to guard against being, not complacent perhaps, but just being such hot favourites. No, but we cannot think of this. Uh, it's a good thing being favourites as well because uh, that means we have, uh, we have qualities. Uh, so we have to attack the game in our way and we have to play, try to play our football. That's what we have to try to do. And uh, in the end, we'll see who wins it. Mm. And just tell us a few words about Pep because obviously this is his fifth Premier League title in six years, is he the best coach in the world? Yeah, for sure he is. Uh, when, you, when you just said that fifth Premier League in six years is, is unreal. And uh, yeah, he, he makes things look so easy, you know, uh, on, the, um, on the training ground and on the, in the games. It's, it's crazy what he's, uh, he's doing, he makes us do and uh, how good we can play, you know. Uh, it's, uh, it's a big honour for me to, to work with him and have him as my, my coach. It's a, it's a pleasure. And when you were in that title run-in, when Arsenal were eight points ahead at one point, did you, what was his message to you? Just keep going, win your games, don't worry about what they're doing? Yeah, it was really just about... Uh, oh, sorry. 
It was really just about taking game by game, uh, to be honest, uh, and to to focus on what we can focus about. You know, I don't like to focus about in the future or in the past. I like to live in the moment, and I like to take game by game exactly what he he said we were going to do, and uh, that's what we did. Then we focused, and we we achieved exactly what we wanted to achieve, and uh, in the end. It's unreal what we did, uh, being behind the whole season and just in the end just come like a unit together uh, was amazing and also an amazing feeling. Mm. And you mentioned some of your teammates earlier, their support. Kevin De Bruyne was was it was in the top five for this award as well. And you've got players like Jack Grealish who've now really hit the stage in a big way after maybe a quiet first season. Some big characters in that dressing room, aren't they? What's, what's the vibe? What's the mood? No, the vibe is uh, fantastic. Uh, I really enjoy myself. I have a lot of friends. We joke a lot. We, we enjoy a lot uh, in the locker room and, and on the pitch. Uh, so, uh, so, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. And uh, there's, there's so many good, uh, good guys in the team as well. And that also helps on. And just finally, me, from me, what's next for Erling Haaland? Is it more records, more trophies? What are your ambitions? Yeah, as I said, it's two more finals and uh, I will do everything I can to, um, to achieve uh, good things in these finals uh, and um, yeah, and then hopefully win both. Uh, that's what I will try to achieve. Fantastic. Well, enjoy your night. Thank you.